in the norma occipitalis we have to learn the infratemporal surface of the greater wing of sphenoid which is pentagonal in shape anteriorly there lies the inferior orbital fissure anterolaterally there is infratemporal crest then posterolaterally there is the squamous part of the temporal bone now comes toward its posteromedial side where it has got the petrous part of temporal bone and if you move antro medially there lies the pterygoid process especially lateral pterygoid plate and the pyramidal process of the palatine bone this is how the pentagonal surface is being marked the anterior margin the anterolateral the posterolateral the posteromedial and the anteromedial right now now another important landmark which is the sulcus tubi this is a sulcus present in between this uh, greater wing of sphenoid and the petrous part of temporal bone this sulcus is meant to hold the auditory tube right